we need to graph this piecemeal function. So you can see we've got two parts to it. So when I go to graph this, I usually do this in two parts. I start actually by graphing both the equations in their entirety. So I'm gonna graph this one up here in blue. And so I start at zero because it has no y-intercept and this tells me down one over one, down one over one, it's pretty easy. Um, and so I'm gonna just draw this in and I'm gonna come back to it in a minute. Then I'm gonna do in purple, I'm gonna do this one. So this one starts at one up here and I go up two over one, up two, over one so then this is this line but i don't want all these right so this is where i got to be paying attention i got to get out my eraser and figure it out so what i'm going to do is i want to figure out what's happening at one so up here this point at one will be negative one so this will be one negative one and what's happening down here what's this going to be well if i put one into here i get let me see, two times one is two, three, okay? So I'm gonna erase my two lines now. And this is actually easier to do if you got it all in parts. So this one here starts at one, one right here, okay? This is one, negative one right here, and it's gonna continue on down that way. It's solid because it's or equals, and it starts here and it's filled in because it's or equals. Now, going back to my purple line, this one starts at one, three. So right here, one, two, you can see right here, it is gonna be an open circle because it does not include this. And then it's gonna be a solid line out here because we're not doing inequalities here. And so you can see then this is my two part piecemeal equation. Um, and you can see where my past ones were that helped me. And a lot of times, since I'm doing this in pencil, I literally am just erasing half that point. And now you can do it all in parts, but I find it's easier for me to graph naturally and then go back and find which chunk I want after the fact. Um, but it does help a lot to do these points here because that's gonna tell you where that transition is. And notice they're not at the same one. I've got a jump, I've got a discontinuity there. Um, and that's okay. It's also okay if they're the same point. Doesn't matter, either one works.